Abu Sunya for your son so Asia in the end of maybe a best sell so best subscriber to the channel. Send a buy a video be the better to be on once I add to me. I can be Abu Sunya for Sammy Flares at a better abontia or church in Samu. A idea a could you share the nice and summer could you share in a beca a fan or no and not the Munchi Jimmy double to abontia no more for a could you share then at a better abontia say a Sammy Flares a usro shatawali into to me and cut at the bonnet and for shatawali when I can't wait to shatawali a I am a boy and no sense and so on and no and not and then me some of flesh and shouldn't say back when never to your chest and some of you share the canyon on tias and then momo no a so momo new wow now finally the main issue why it's going to do this and i pray i don't spend so much time here some of flesh and some of you can't go and you can't go to spend my time so some of flesh and can't be in the morning um, who even shared it? Is it Gideon or some somebody like that? Okay, maybe I think Gideon Nilam Tessin or someone like that shared a tweet supposedly coming from um Kwaja Sheldon. And the tweet reads, I want to read what it says. It says, Sammy Flex be one funny man, very, very funny. For how long you go keep that man's joystick in your mouth? Ew. <laughs> And of course, he brought some emojis. You know, the Twitter emojis are different emojis. They can't read some looks. So he says, Sammy Flex, the one funny man. Very, very funny. For how long you go keep that man's joystick in your mouth? Ew. Okay. So let me understand this literally. Literally, in the sense that I want to just take it the way it was written. Like, okay, Sammy Flex is funny. Maybe I make people laugh. Or maybe I'm not serious. And that for how long... Am I going to keep that man's joystick in your mouth? And of course, you know that man he's talking about. I'm sure maybe Kojo Sheldon has been banned from mentioning Shatawali. So now it is that man, that man, that man, that man. Well, I said yesterday in the editorial that that is not how I want it to be. I wish we were all live in peace. So when he said, um, for how long you go keep that man's joystick in your mouth? Obviously, I know he's talking about Shatawali. Then he said, ew. Now let's come back to the issue. So once again, I think... My brother, Kwaja Sheldon, is getting so many things wrong, especially with my position. And this is how I want to put it. First of all, I appreciate everything that he has achieved for himself within this short time. I really appreciate it. And I think I always congratulate him. Maybe, you see, as humans, when they say the good things about them, they won't hear. And that's fact. Maybe he has also tweeted some good things about me or has said some good things about me that I did, or someone did not send to me. But this particular one, someone sent it to me. So I really appreciate his craft. He's done so well. I remember during my days on radio at Xylophone FM, we had some comedy segment like that. Um, some time ago, someone told me, oh, then Kojo Sheldon either appeared on the show or wanted to appear on the show as one of the... Because I had some weekly Fridays comedy segment that I, I was doing on the show. So almost all the comedians currently, they've all appeared on the show before. So my producers were telling me when he started blowing and people were talking about it, I said, oh, he's even been on the show or he had wanted to be on the show. I'm, I'm not too sure. And, and I'm saying this because I've interviewed so many people that when I meet some of them, they have to remind me, oh boss, you even interviewed me at Plaza FM, you even interviewed me at Xylophone, you even interviewed me. Some of them I don't even know. Some of them I interviewed them when they were nobodies, and later they become big and they remind me, oh, Brassam, you even interviewed. So when I say I don't know, it's not like I'm being, um, I'm being funny about it. No, I'm seriously, I'm seriously saying that I don't know whether he appeared or he was yet to appear. And like I'm saying, it was even my producers who told me. So one, when I heard that, okay, despite all those things from comedy, whether it went well or did not go well, started his YouTube thing and with what the level he's got into, I think he's done well and he deserves some commendation. No two ways about that. It is not easy. One platform that is not easy to operate is the YouTube platform. It is a, it is a serious platform. Trust me. Uh, it, when someone does anything there and you see the person growing with it then you should know that it was hard work like real hard work the person put in there to be able to get there so i really appreciate i respect what he's done so far but unfortunately for for him to divert what is happening to come and tweet at me this morning it makes me wonder what did i do wrong what did i say wrong i keep saying that let's all live in peace I keep saying that the people who give us content for us to do what we do, let's show them respect. I keep saying that the people who give us what we are looking for to be who we are, at least if you cannot do anything with them or for them, it's between we and them. 
And I don't know if this is what makes me funny. I don't know if this is what makes me keeping someone's joystick in my mouth. As a matter of fact, um, I'm very straight. I'm very straight. Uh, I don't do men. I'm very straight. And as a matter of fact, I have a wife. Um, I have four children. And even if I'm permitted to take concubines, I'll take them as well. But maybe I'm not permitted, so I cannot take them. But if I'm permitted, I'll take concubines. So to have someone joystick in my mouth is, is, is really an ill, like he said. Uh -huh. Maybe it is really an ill because that's something that I can't do. So I really don't know what you mean. But you see, sometimes, this is how I see life. The fact that your approach is not my approach, is not my approach, doesn't make me funny. Or the fact that your approach is not my approach, doesn't make me weak. Or the fact that how you do your things is not how I will do my things does not make me ignorant. And that is what I keep saying all the time. I'm saying that everybody in this space has the authority and the power to critique everybody that they would want to critique. Everybody in this space has the authority to review works of artists. But let's be measured in what we say about these people because without them, we aren't going to be who we are. Without them, we aren't going to be who we are, as a matter of fact. So imagine, I wake up and every celebrity or every musician in Ghana is mute. Imagine, like I wake up, Sarko is not 20, Stoneboy is not 20, Sarko, uh, Shatawale is not talking. Everybody is mute. What am I going to do? Like, what am I going to do? And we have been doing this discussion in the office that, yes, the artists might be able to do their things without us. But if we are to do our things without them, we will struggle. Because, yes, we will need them. So if I say, let's respect those people, where did I go wrong? Or someone is saying, I think still on the page, on our WhatsApp page, then someone came to say that, oh, maybe it is because of this. And do you know what that person showed me? That person showed me a video of me saying, um, shout outs to, um, um, what's his name? Headless YouTuber. Yes. That person said, it is because maybe I said shout outs to Headless YouTuber and I love what he does. As a matter of fact, Headless YouTuber, how I got to know him is even funny. When I exited Xylophone, I heard he spoke about my exit. So someone, I think my good friend from Belgium, um, I can't help me, the musician from Belgium, he even came to Ghana recently. Rebel Ashes. Yes, I think it was Rebel Ashes who sent me a link from him. I didn't even know him there, as a matter of fact. I had not seen him from anywhere. I had not heard from him from anywhere. But when I exited Xylophone, then Rebel actually sent me a link. From, he lives in Belgium. Shout out to you, Rebel. He's a musician. Go look for him. You love him. He sent me a link of um, um, Headless YouTuber to, reacting to my exit and the stories around it. I watched it. I, I loved it. I love, I love how he did it. As a matter of fact, I loved how he did it. One, he was factual. One, the, the, like the presentation. Talking about it was my YouTube, having my YouTube and the station brought my numbers and the station's YouTube number. Like, it was so beautiful. I said, wow. That was when I subscribed to his uh, channel and I became a fan. Here in our office or in our studio, people like um, Roland Amate and co, some of my pundits, Chemo and co, they all love Headless YouTuber. They've been watching his content any day. Sometimes I'll be walking or be sitting in the car and they'll be watching his content because they love his style. So if I say shout outs to him, I'm not saying that to demean your work in any way. And I won't do that because I am in this space as well. I know how it feels. So I won't do that. I know the effort that goes into what we do. It is not easy to even to keep up buying power, data, paying workers. No, it is not easy. I will never demean anybody's uh, work or area. So yes, I don't know if it is the reason. Or because of what? Because even yesterday, on one of our shows, Showbiz Daily, I think we discussed that, okay, finally, you have admitted that you are not going to talk about um, Shatawale again. And I have not seen it, but I think some few people have even seen tweets or comments elsewhere saying, oh, you have even deleted his comments, his um, content from your page. Or, but me, I have not seen all those things because, Charlie... Um, I just paid school fees. I'm still recovering. So uh, those things are, are not really my matter like that. But I hear them. Of course, I'm always online because I'm an online person. I'm a TV person as well. I, I'm always looking out for content. So yes, I came across it somewhere. I said, okay, so it is beautiful. 
But me, I even said in yesterday's editorial that it is my wish that now that there is calm, after you've accepted that, you're not going to talk about him. Then we cannot start talking, negotiation behind the scenes, because that is not how I want it, as a matter of fact. I don't want Kwejo Sheldon to have an issue with Shatter. Same way, I don't have Shatter to have an issue with Sh Sh uh, Kwejo Sheldon. It's, it, it is like that. I cannot interview Shatawale every day. No. Sometimes you go here, you go there, and that has been the story. Every artist like that, no artist goes to just one place for interview. No matter, yes, they might have their preferred places, but no matter what, one day, they will go to another place. So, same way, I cannot interview Sheldon every day, like um, Shatawale every day. Sometimes you go here and you go there. So, why would I even talk about you and making it look somewhat? No, I won't do that. Even, even some time ago, and this one, I did not pay attention to it because once again, like I said, some of these things I care, I care less. Me, I'm that guy that what people say about me, whether on social media, on YouTube comments, like I don't bother like that because I know the position that I occupy, there is no way what I'll do, people also not have opinion. Just that sometimes I wish it is not with the abusive words. That's the only wish I have. But even with that, I will not use it. But if you use it, I don't mind. One, I keep saying me, I was brought up well, so to insult people, I don't know how to do. I was brought up well, so to just sit in public spaces and be using curse words like that, I don't know. I don't know how to hate people. I can only show love and smile. That's why people think Sammy Flex doesn't have a problem. Because I'm always smiling and laughing. Mm, that's how I take life. I don't take life so serious like that. So some time ago when someone, or some people, it was not one person, one or two people hitting me that, ah, Sammy Flex, did you hear something Kwejo Sheldon said? I said, oh, what did he say? And uh, I think he said, he, they meant that you, you said Shatawale goes to some places to go do interview, and in your description, you describe those places as low places. I did not hear what exactly he said, but I'm giving you how I understood it. And that they said, he said Shatawale goes to some places, and the places are in two brackets, low places. I don't care. Maybe I'm the one. Maybe I'm not the one. But all these things, I let it pass. I let it pass, bro. Me, I don't want to, I don't want to inherit anybody's enemies. You might have your issues with Shatawale, but I mean, I wish never. I'll never have any issue with you. As a matter of fact, I wish to even get your contact. I can call you so you vibe. Because I vibe with everybody who wants to vibe with me. I don't want to inherit anybody's enemies. Never in this world. It is the last thing I'll do for myself. Abusa for winning in summer, Sammy Flares, Eki Kano, Ebi. Your best server, so best subscribe to the channel. No, never more than a share and a four fronts also into me and Kabi. Me, I don't mind a funny at all. Your best answer is Shabium, a PIAO.